today in Blue. Today we're going to talk about default pitch locations and how to maximize your location and each off-speed pitch that you throw. So, number one, I tell all of our pitchers that there's basically seven default locations that we're looking for. And those are the primary locations that you're going to use. So when you call inside fastball, we have a default location. We call fastball you know, away, there's a default location. You know, fastball's away to right here, not here. All right, so for fastballs, anything that's on the plate or to the edges of the plate are going to be down. So default middle is right here at the knee. Default inner third down here at the knee. Default outer third here at the knee. Default corner here at the knee. So those four locations where, we, say we have a right-handed hitter and we're going away, it's here, 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 here. And you can split the plate into halves, thirds, fourths, whatever you want. But either way, we're using bottom of the kneecap is where we always want to throw that pitch, okay? Now when we go in, there's an exception. We don't want to go down and in, especially to lefties, um, and down and into a righty isn't as effective of a pitch. And the reason why is because when we're going in on a person, we're trying to do two things. Number one, move his feet. Number two, uh, jam him and speed his bat up, okay? So if I'm going in, again, especially to a lefty, so we'll use that as an example, it's easy for a lefty going down and in to simply drop the head of the bat on the ball. They have a little bit more of a golfy type swing, and it's easy for them to do that. Lefties struggle, and righties struggle, to get the barrel to the ball when the pitch is on the, right around their hands, okay? So basically what we're talking about is default location when you're going in is underneath the hands, somewhere around here. Again, here to a righty, here to a lefty. They can't just drop the barrel of the bat on it. They have to legitimately get on plane with it and get the head of the bat out. So if this pitch is here, really the best thing they can do is either get jammed or yank it foul, okay? Now, when we're going up, default location is middle. And the reason being, I don't get strikeouts when I pitch going up and in on a person. And the reason is, all they have to do is turn, and they can nick this ball right here with the inside of their bat pretty much all day. It's really tough for me to straight guy out. Even if I'm throwing really hard, and this is the fastest effective velocity location, it's easy for them to just turn and nick. Now, if we throw up here, or maybe even a little bit up and away, They've got to get the head of their bat, this heavy part, all the way out to catch up with that pitch. So when I go up and I'm trying to get a guy for a strikeout, I'm going up middle or maybe a little bit up and out, okay? Because again, it forces them to get the barrel of their bat out of that pitch. So for fastballs, when you're trying to strike someone out, the most often used locations are going to be low and away to a righty is here, low and away to a lefty is here or up middle. Those are the, the what I deem most likely to get a strikeout location. We'll also freeze guys with pitches in, but it's tougher for them to strike out on that pitch. They can nick it a lot more. Um, and again, that'll vary from person to person, okay? So as we're talking about off-speed pitches, same thing. So if we talk about curveballs, default location that we're trying to throw for a strike is right here, bottom of the kneecap. That's where if we can execute that pitch where it's catcher sticking it right here, they're gonna be pretty likely to beat it into the ground, take it, whatever. We're throwing strikes called for here, that pitch is gonna hang more. It's not gonna have as much bite because it's gotta start up, farther back in the hand, and it's gonna have a loopier break. So the default pitch locations that I use for my curveball personally, and what I recommend for almost everyone, is called strike, 0-1 or 1-2. and two. This is one where it's gonna be borderline ball strike. It's towards the outer third of the plate. Again, this is me being a righty, you know, opposite for a lefty. And if he catches this and they don't swing, it's gonna be borderline. Might be a ball, might be a strike. And then for a strikeout, we're looking to bounce it around the point of the plate. That's gonna give it the most, where it's gonna track for a strike the longest before it breaks, okay? Anywhere in here is gonna get a strikeout, but I think point of the plate is the, the spot we're looking for. So again, for curveball, the default locations for a strike middle, for a strike low and away, and that's like, you know, you're ahead in the count and looking for contact, and then here's strikeout location, okay? And then for changeup, it's very, very similar. When we're looking for to get a called strike, we're always looking, you know, bottom of the knee in the middle of the strike zone because we want the guy to put that in play. And if he does, he's going to beat to the ground, right? He's going to be just enough on his front foot, and he's going to be enticed to swing because it's in the middle of the plate. If we get ahead, now we're moving to the outer third, and we're going away. We're going to let our natural movement carry it over here. That's why righties throw more chin-ups to lefties and vice versa. And if we're trying to get a strikeout, it might be the same thing, point of the plate middle or you know, same location, there's not a point out here, but on the outer third, all right? So we're trying to get them to fish as the ball's sinking into the ground, okay? So those are the default locations. Now, 
couple of things about each pitch. And again, for sliders, it's mostly the same. Slider, you know, breaking ball, curveball, they're all kind of, we'll kind of conflate the two. Um, for a strike, for weak contact when we're ahead, but not necessarily, you know, we want them to swing this pitch. And then for strikeout, slider has a more lateral break, so it might be somewhere here. Probably not as much the point of the plate. So, a couple things worth, we want to think about. I love pitching inside, but going inside early in the count is tough because hitters won't swing at it. They get scared of it and they'll tend to do this. Umpires also won't call this pitch. So a lot of the times, if I'm trying to go in first pitch, I'm going to be ball one. So I usually take my chances more over the middle of the plate. And now when we're 0-1, we go in. Now hitters are forced to expand the zone a little bit. He's going to swing at that pitch more often and the umpire is going to start to give it to us a little bit more. Okay. Number two, kids tend to throw, and not just kids, everyone, they tend to throw away from contact, so they want to throw their best change about here. Where I tell them, especially if it's a contact count, like 2-0, 2-1, you're guaranteed to get that ground ball double play if you throw a good change up right here in the middle of the plate. And in that contact count, so say 2-0, hitter's looking for a fastball, right? He's always looking for a fastball unless he's an idiot 2-0, unless he knows something. All right, he knows his curveball, or his pitcher throws curveballs 2-0. So if he's looking fastball and I throw him a change up right down the middle, He's going to be on his front foot, right? He's going to beat that pitch into the ground. So I want to throw it middle. I don't want to throw this filthy on the black changeup because I risk him not swinging at it because of the location. I want to make sure he swings at it, that he's enticed to swing at it because of the location. So in contact counts or when you're behind, or sorry, as a pitcher, when you're behind the count, go for the middle of the plate. If you're going to pitch backwards, throw that slider curveball changeup, 2-0, 2-1, 3-1, 1-0. Throw it for the middle. Make sure he swings at it because you're going to get an out if you do so. All right. So again, we're just kind of thinking, going through a bullpen. We're always trying to stay out of the middle, out of this middle kind of hula hoop of the strike zone. This is where no pitch is going to break. You know, it's not going to break the sharpest. It's going to be the worst version of everything we throw. There's exceptions. Guys with really high spin rate fastballs can get away with more stuff up in the zone. You know, there's always some exceptions. However, in general, default locations for fastballs are always at the bottom of the knee. When we go in underneath the hands and when we're going to go up, up middle. Up and in can work. You'll see, I mean, everything can work. Everything can have its place. But in general, the majority of the time, fastballs here, in, in, up. All right? So that's our little quick tutorial as far as just pitch locations and the stuff that you want to practice the absolute most with your fastball, curveball, slider, and changeup.